Robots may soon be able to read our minds, and our innermost thoughts could be vulnerable to being hacked, experts have warned. By 2030, smartphones, computers, and tablets may be able to monitor and read our brain activity. The functionality may initially be used as a part of security, a past thought, if you will, and that in of itself could then lead to those thoughts and that brain activity being hacked. This is coming from experts at the Davos World Economic Forum. This is how it goes, and just breaking it down from a quote from Rita Farahani. She says, you could think of a song, a little ditty in your head while you're wearing a consumer-based EEG device, a method of recording the electrical activity of the brain. And then that, which has a unique neuro signature, can be used as your passcode. It turns out that that is an incredibly effective and incredibly safe, almost impossible to replicate passcode. So yes, that in of itself is fine, but caution, because if it can be used in an app and if it can be used to access something, obviously an access a device, obviously it can then be hacked. And what Rita Farahani says is there's not currently any legislation to prevent this type of um, activity, type of hacking going on. So she goes on, so there's discussion about using past thought. This is one of just many different ways in which I think we will ultimately end up adopting things like consumer-based EEG devices that we are wearing all the time. And then you have really got to talk about privacy. And it's all now part of the free apps that you are sharing with, quote, not good Samaritans. So what she is saying is then, obviously, you get into privacy. The, the legislation is antiquated. It's not up to the technology itself. It doesn't marry with the technology that we have. It's far outstripped that. And so, obviously, you talk about privacy. Um, and access to personal information. Well, if you're having thought-associated past thoughts, there's nothing more private than your own private thoughts. The idea is that the, your, your brainwave, so the way that Joe thinks of a word in the way that your brain processes that is different and unique to you. And it's different from, even if it's the same word, different and unique to me the, than it would be for me. And, so, and, and your device will potentially, in, in a few years' time, your device will recognize that and acknowledge that, which is obviously very exciting and forthright. But at the same time, uh, the legislation hasn't caught up, and it's subject to being accessed and hacked by what she calls not good Samaritans, bad actors. Yeah, the way you will. explain it, it all seems very doable. And we always have this problem where laws, and obviously here we're talking about privacy laws and things like this, are behind the technology that's being developed. Right. We even saw it with the drones. And I can just see Elon Musk, his anger bubbling away here. These are the reasons why we need to slow down AI, because of the problems that we can potentially ha have. And already, by the way, there's an app being tested uh, in the Far East that can predict your uh, your choices. And they were talking about the problems with traffic and easing traffic congestion. And by looking at people's choices that they've made in the past, they can offer suggestions and try to change their minds. So already this technology was about changing people's minds right. uh, to ease traffic. So what you're saying is very, very doable. How far along in the process are we? She is indicating that by 2030, this is something that she predicts. I mean, I'm always a little bit skeptical of some of these predictions because by 2025, they're predicting that we will have alien contact. Well, NASA's predicting that we'll have alien contact. So certainly, if we've contacted aliens, I would imagine that we'll be able to use our thoughts to open our iPhones. So in terms of that technology being advanced, she's, that's, that's the timeline that she's giving for it. So the question is, is whether it's something that is going to be viable, whether it's something that, as you said, the laws need to catch up with that, the privacy laws need to catch up for that. The, the implications are troublesome, but clearly the technology is, is it, that seems to be the trajectory that we're on.